Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're just doing a basic backyard barbecue chicken. And I'm gonna do it just like if you were coming over to my house to visit with me. So today, no store-bought rubs. I'm just gonna grab stuff out of the pantry that I have, seasonings that I normally cook with. And we're just gonna throw that together really quick. So first off, let me get some stuff out of here. So the first thing, we're just gonna use some salt. If you've been following my channel, you know that I cook a lot with uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, and some onion. So that's the basic to most of my rubs is that, that crew right there. Now, for a little bit of color, we're going to go with some paprika. Let me see here. A little bit of chili powder. We're gonna add just a little bit of ground cumin to it. And for just a taste of heat, just some cayenne pepper. So no recipe today. We're just gonna throw this together and then get to cooking. All right, guys, let's get going. All right, let's put this rub together. So like I said, this is no recipe. Usually when I'm cooking, I just throw stuff together. A lot of times I can't even remember how I did it. Um, anyway, I always start off with about equal parts of salt and pepper. So that's what we'll start off with. Just equal parts of salt and pepper. Now, if you make too much rub, that's okay. You can just bottle it up and use it again, especially if you like it. Now we're gonna add just a little bit of garlic powder. You don't always need a lot of this. About the same amount of onion powder. For a little bit of color, we're adding some paprika. I really like this uh, Hungarian style. I also have some smoked, smoked paprika, but I kind of like this one better. A little bit of chili powder. Some ground cumin. So not very much of that, see so just a little bit. And then just a few hits of cayenne, not too much. We just give that a good stir. And that's gonna be my basic chicken rub for barbecue chicken. Now I didn't put any sugar in it at this point. What we'll do at the end is um, I'll doctor up the barbecue sauce and it will have some sugar in it.
guys as you just saw we got the pit barrel ready and our chickens already seasoned up so now it's just time to get it on and then once we get it closed up there's not gonna be any reason for me to look at it until we're basically done and I am gonna be temping it with grill eye today we're going to go we're gonna watch it till it hits about 150 degrees and then we're gonna try to crank the temperature up on the barrel So you can see I just cut the chickens in half. I'm basically just gonna hang them in there. I got the, the pit barrel hooks going through the breast bones. I'll just put these probes. There's one chicken that's bigger than the others. So I'm actually going to put the probe into that one. Just so we know where we're at. You saw too the wood that I'm using today. I'm just using um, some hickory. All right, and then like I said, we shouldn't have to look at this again until our temperatures are where they need to be. So I will see you once we hit around 150 degrees. All right guys, let's go ahead and get our barbecue sauce ready. Today I'm using this Kinder's Mild Barbecue Sauce. I just picked these up at Costco. Got two big bottles, around seven bucks. Um, I've been using this one a lot lately because it is gluten free and it helps my wife out. Let's just get a little bit of the barbecue sauce in our pan. I always like to doctor up any barbecue sauce I get. And all we're gonna do on this one is just add some uh, brown sugar. Other barbecue sauces, I will actually add garlic powder or onion powder just to give it a little bit stronger flavor. But since we already had that in the rub, I don't necessarily need that. So we're just going to add just brown sugar to this one just to give it a little bit of a sweeter flavor. I just get it stirred up and I don't heat it up or anything like that. I just go straight to the chicken with it. Now the idea is to put this on about five degrees before the chicken's done. All right guys, so here's where we're sitting at as far as temperatures go. So I actually took uh, the second probe out and I'm just monitoring the barrel temperature right now just to show you guys where it's at. So our first chicken's at 151 degrees. Now I will check all four of them with an instant read thermometer just to know, you know when, they're, when they start being coming done, I will take them off. But our pit barrel's sitting at 253 degrees right now. 
So what we want to do these last you know, 15 degrees on the chicken is start bringing the barrel temperatures up. And how do we do that? We need to get more air to it. So all I'm going to do is just crack the lid a little bit. Just like that. And what will happen is more air will start going to the fire below and it will start bringing the temperature up. Alright, so as you can see, the lid being cracked for less than five minutes, we've, we've reached 300 already. Now, the whole reason of getting the temperature higher is to get that skin crispy. Now, when we put barbecue sauce on it, it's going to take some of that crisp away, but if we get as crispy as possible, then that's going to help. So that's what we're doing is we're trying to get that temperature up because if you want that crispy skin, you have to have higher temperatures. So I'm going to let this go for about another five minutes. Maybe we'll reach 325, 350, and then I'll put the lid back all the way on, and then we will basically be going to about 160-ish on the chicken, and then we'll get it sauced up. So I'll see you then. So our bigger chicken right now is sitting at about 156, 157 degrees. Now just check the smaller ones, and they're a little bit ahead of it. So we're going to go ahead and start pulling these things and getting them sauced up. I don't want my smaller ones to get you know overdone because they're gonna be done before the bigger ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out and getting these things sauced up. I'll go ahead and start with these bigger ones. Starting to look pretty good. Now I will sauce both sides. So this right here is what I like about barbecue chicken is when that, that breast starts splitting right there. That's my favorite piece. Now I like to put barbecue sauce all over the bones, everything. And we'll get this one back in. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done. And then the next time you see them, I will be taking them out. All right guys, so these things have been hitting 165 in this exact order. So be sure to check all your different chicken, like when you're cooking different pieces because they're gonna be done you know, at different times. Not too much difference. The smaller piece right here, it was done. And about five minutes later, actually a bigger one was done. And then about five more, the smaller one was done. I think so the pit barrel had different maybe heat zones inside it. My last one's done right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get it off. So roughly about a two and a half to three hour cook. Um, so not that bad. What I'm gonna do now is let them rest up and then we're gonna get them on a cutting board and uh, take a look at them. All right guys, our chicken's been resting. Before I get to it though and show you, I wanna show you this. So this is the pan they were resting in. Look at all the juice that came out of them. When I'm doing chicken, um, I learned that I can't let it rest on the cutting board because this will come off and spill everywhere. So use something to help yourself clean up a little bit easier. And here is our final product. Came out really good, I'm happy with it. So barbecue chicken is actually my favorite thing to cook on the smoker or grill. And when I have people over, this is one of the main things I like to do. Comes out really good, really easy to do. As long as you just watch the temperatures, make sure you're you know, 165, pull them off. They'll be super good every time. So actually, let me flip these around. Move them a little bit and let's just get one to try. They're still pretty hot. Let's go ahead and get some of this one though.
For me, I like the white meat. Let me get a taste of it. Mmm. Super good. I could eat chicken every day. I probably do eat chicken every day, but. All right, guys, that's it for our barbecue chicken. I hope this helped you if you had any questions about how to make it. As always, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back. <laughs>